How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now, most gamers these days own or are looking to get a mechanical keyboard for all of their gaming needs. They feel a lot better to type on, they are far more durable than membranes, and you have a wider selection of switches to choose from to fit your preference. But the entire mechanical switch technology is actually quite a bit old, and you can only improve it at that much really. Well, the solution to that is to use optical switches that delivers far faster and more precise keystrokes. And now Razer has engineered their own opto mechanical switches for their new Huntsman keyboards. And I have to say, without a doubt, these are my new favorite switches. So let's take a look at Razer's new Huntsman Elite and their new optical mechanical switches right after this. But just before that, if you guys are in the market for a new NVIDIA RTX or graphics card, whether it's a 2080 Ti, a 2080 or the new 2070 graphics cards, Rebel Tech has you covered from also all of your favorite brands, whether it's a Gigabyte, MSI or ASUS. So definitely check out Rebel Tech to get your new RTX graphics card now. So starting off with the pricing for the Razer Huntsman Elite, it is a retailing for around 3,000 Rand on Rebeltec, Urines of Africa, or around $200 on Amazon. But you do also get the smaller and more affordable Huntsman without any of the fancy features, but still with the optomechanical switches that is going for around 2,300 Rand or $150. The Huntsman comes out with a simple, sleek, matte black design with its bright RGB lighting not only underneath each key, but also around the sides of the keyboards and the included palm rest. The side lighting is definitely a cool feature and is more focused to the side and not really downwards, so you don't really get a more glowy effect on your desk, which I actually do kind of like, uh, but it does keep the lighting a bit more subtle. The Huntsman also has a sturdy build construction with an aluminium top plate that does help prevent with flex. Now straight away in the top right corner you will notice that you do get a dedicated media controls with a cool and also RGB volume and a mutual wheel that does make adjusting your volume actually quite a bit fun. Uh, also for some of the other function keys you do get a on the fly macro recording, your gaming mode, brightness adjustments for the backlight, you get your sleep and then also you can change your profiles on the fly but you can have a lot more adjustments that you can just create and set in the software. As for the included palm rest, it connects to the side of the Huntsman with ease with its magnets and pins to send a data and power through for the lighting. The palm rest has a soft leather padding that makes typing and gaming a lot more comfortable and kind of these days I feel any high or even a mid-range gaming keyboards do need a palm rest because it just makes it that much better and more comfortable to use. Taking a quick look underneath the Huntsman and the palm rest, you get a plenty of anti-slip pads that does do a really good job at that. You also get your two flip out keyboard feet that has some extra level adjustments as well for better elevation and all of the elevation levels does also have anti-slip pads. For the cable, it is a dual USB braided cable with a length of 1.8 meters or 5.9 feet. Having also the two USBs does kind of make it a bit thicker, but the cable is easy to bend for your cable management. As for the keycaps, you get pretty much the same smooth ABS plastic keycaps as most of the other Razer keyboards like the Black Widow. I would have liked if it was double shot or even a PBT keycaps, but that is okay. 
Now, now we're getting into the main feature of the new Huntsman and that is Razer's new Opto Mechanical Switches. So what exactly is Opto Mechanical Switches and why are they so much better? Well, how the current mechanical switches work is that you have to push down on the key, which then pushes a pin down to push two metal contacts together, and then it'll send through the signal. But before those two metal contacts can send through a signal, there is something called a debounce delay, which prevents the signal from being sent through immediately. Even though it is only a couple of milliseconds, we can get it to near instant. This is where the optical switches comes in, that instead of using the old primitive method of two conducts, it uses an infrared light beam, and kinda as we know, light is really fast. So we get a near instant signal being sent through for faster and more precise key presses in a gaming, and then also sending an email to grandma. Uh, I don't really know if grandmas can really read emails or how they work. So maybe you can just print it out, maybe. It's still primitive, uh, but that's better than nothing, I suppose. Okay, but now all of the fancy talk is nice and everything, but how do the switches actually feel? Well, I have to say they feel pretty freaking amazing. You still get the mechanical feel with a clicky tactile bump. It has an actuation force of 45 grams and a low 1.5 millimeters of actuation point. Now, normal switches has an actuation point of around 2 millimeters and the MX speeds have an even lower 1.2 millimeters. So yes, the MX speed switches are lower for faster key presses, but they're not as snappy as the opticals and the problem that I personally had with the MX speeds was that because they are so extremely low, light, and also have the linear response for anything other than gaming with a more precise finger placement, it was completely horrible. So writing an email to grandma was definitely a no-go with the MX speeds. This is why I personally like these new switches. Uh, they are much faster, they're still light, but they still have that nice tactile feel and not too crazy loud like a lot of the other blue switches or so on. But now here's just a quick sound test of how those new auto mechanical switches sounds. Moving on to the software, you will need to go download Razer's Synapse 3 software from their website. Where now in the software, you will be able to create and edit profiles, assign different commands to each of the key, like media controls to launch a program, and then also you can assign and create your own custom macros. One feature that Razer also has is the Hyper Shift option, which actually allows you to set a completely new set of key commands for all of the keys. So in effect, you actually get a twice as a many inputs, which is kind of cool, especially if you do have a bunch of different macros you apply. As for the lighting for the Huntsman, just like most other Razer products, you do have a lot of customization. Not only can you change the color and the effects of each key, but also each of the LEDs around the side of the keyboard and the palm rest. So you're able to group all of them together or individually change all of the colors, effects, brightness, and also just a bunch of more controls depending on the effects. Also, if you do have other Chroma Razer products or even Philips U products, you will be able to sync all of them together for a cool lighting effect. So now, in conclusion, even though I really do like the Huntsman, it's an awesome keyboard, there are some bad points that is worth mentioning. 
Firstly, in the middle where the palmers and the keyboard connects, there is a tiny gap where the keyboard is higher than the palm wrist, uh, and it's not like it's not like that on the sides. It's only in the middle. It doesn't really cause any issues. You're still able to connect the keyboard without it, and it still works. It's just something that I need to mention because there's a lot of people that will be finicky about a more precise lines and everything. So yeah, just keep that in mind. The second is that the way I personally raise my palms on top of the palm wrist, I could actually feel the edge of the palm wrist on my wrists. It didn't really take away from the comfort that much to me, but for somebody who might have really large hands or do put their hands more back uh, backwards towards the on the palm wrist, uh, they might end up with their entire palm on that edge, and that won't be as comfortable as most other people so just keep that in mind as well i would have liked if it was kind of a bit more like the ornata where it is almost the entire length and width of the uh, the palm wrist where it's not the edge kind of still being plastic so i think that would have been better and the last a bad point is the huntsman does resemble the black widow elite quite a lot now that's not anything bad but unfortunately, because of the side lighting, uh, you don't uh, get uh, the same audio or a USB pass through like the Black Video Elite, which is kind of a bit a bummer to me, especially at uh, this $200 price point. But it's not all bad news for the Huntsman. Overall, it's really an awesome keyboard that I would love to own. The build quality is good, it has a nice dedicated media controls, it has cool RGB lighting, and the best one, of course, are the opto mechanical switches. Now, I've not used other optical keyboards before, so I can't really say how the Razer's Opto mechanical switch performs to those, but from all of the other uh, mechanical switches that I've used so far, these are definitely my favorite. They are exactly what I'm looking for, which is a very snappy, light, but still has a tactile bump and still being clicky, so I can annoy some of the people around me. Luckily, I live on my own. So again, I did have a blast using the Huntsman for these a few weeks now, and it's kind of sad to see it go back, but it is definitely worth buying if you are looking for a higher-end gaming keyboard with extremely quick and satisfying switches that does also look nice and sleek. So if you guys want to get uh, the Razer Huntsman for yourself, definitely check out the links in the video description where you can get it on Rebel Tech if you live in South Africa or Amazon if you live overseas. Also, if you guys did like this review, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. And I will check all of you next time. Cheers, guys.